All right, today, let's talk about objects. If you're watching these videos back to back, yes, I'm gonna be wearing the same clothes because you know I'm knocking these videos out. <laughs> Back to back to back to back. I'm doing as many as I can right now so I can get ahead and schedule videos so that you always have something new to look forward to wherever you watch your videos, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, IGTV. I'm trying to meet you where you are and give you the basics. Let's talk about objects. And um, as you can see, I'm here on the MDM Web Docs looking at their article on working with objects because honestly, I, I, I see uh, questions at work all the time about this, and I, I notice that you know we have all of these great resources to to deepen our understanding, but y'all just don't read them. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> people people look for a solution that is like a means to an end almost. So, you know, no, I, I doubt very many people have actually read all of these things. And let, let's just talk about what, the, what, what an object is, okay? So, in, in JavaScript, uh, most things are actually objects. Um, and if, if you're interested in learning more about, you know, what that actually means, basically, in JavaScript, we have prototypes and inheritance. So um, there's there's all of these different object prototypes that that describe things. So for instance, whenever we use an array, um, we can always use array methods like dot map dot filter. And what that means is, deep deep down, there's an there's an object prototype that describes like what an array is and what we should do and what methods we can actually use. So I know um, one one issue that people run into is that you know they they think that something is an array. They try to do like a dot map or a dot filter on it. And sometimes you might get like a JavaScript error that's like type error, you know, cannot uh, run filter on undefined or something like that. And that is actually JavaScript digging deep down into the object prototypes and saying that, look, whatever value you have, um, it, it's not actually right for what you're trying to do. It doesn't exist. And you'll you'll see versions of, of those errors, you know, from from packages. You'll see them in your node terminal. You'll see them pop up in the browser sometime, depending on how errors are handled. And let's get started with uh, some of the basics. I forgot to start my timer for this video, so I'm probably going to rush out of this very briefly. But what's important to remember is that objects have um, key value pairs and a key value pair together is described as a property. So what we're saying is in this example, and I might actually need to zoom in so that everyone can see this. We're saying that in this example, you know, we've created a new object and dot make is a property. Now, if you want to learn more about like why you can say my car dot make dot model dot year, um, you should actually <laughs> take some time to come back and read through this full MDN doc called Working with Objects. I don't have enough time to get into the nitty gritty of all of this, so I'm assuming that you have some knowledge in it, but you just want a deeper understanding. Now, this is, this is the key, right? This entire thing, make equaling the string for is the property. And um, what we're saying, so what I'm saying is, you know, this is the key, this is the value, dot make itself, you know, the actual value that it produces is the property. And all objects can have properties, but they don't always have to be um, strings or numbers. Objects can have properties that are functions. Um, as you can see, objects can have uh, properties that are like getters and setters, um, you know, that, that gets more more complicated but object properties are pretty much what we use when we're when we're using these frameworks like react or we're using um, any any front-end framework we're actually just dealing with like very complex objects so if you are looking for a deeper understanding in objects I'll recommend the same resource that I talked about in a different video which is eloquent JavaScript and more specifically uh, chapter 6 has a great overview of what objects are. If you still have any questions or um, 
you know, maybe, you know, better resources. Maybe, you know, something that helped you get a get a good understanding of objects. Always feel free to share those in the comments. I'm not really an expert. I'm learning along with you. So it's always nice to see what what other people enjoy using to learn. And I think that's going to be all for this video. If you have any more questions or you want maybe like a, a deeper explanation in objects, let me know. I'm trying to keep these videos uh, uh, pretty short for now. And uh, another another great resource, you know, if you have more time, I would say definitely jump through that weird JavaScript course mm -hmm. or more specifically um, get to this link and come to chapter six. And this is very similar to the MDN doc, but it's, it's a lot shorter and it also breaks down um, things with pictures. It breaks down things with text and it really gives you a good overview of things that you'll need to know and things that will be invaluable throughout your career. So that's it for this video. I'll make sure to link those resources for you below. If you want to see more um, in-depth detail, maybe like coding examples, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to keep these videos pretty short and to the point.